Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, the Physio Sapien, and this is part two of the postural drainage series. And in this video, we are going to learn about the various manual techniques which helps in assisting the postural drainage along with the postural positions, the breathing techniques, and the cuff, which helps to facilitate the clearance of the lungs. So these three techniques are percussion, vibration, and shaking. We will be learning them one by one. So how they are performed, when they are not to be performed. And I will demonstrate how you will do the technique correctly. So the first one is percussion. What is percussion? It is a heavy manipulation with cupped hands over the lung segments. So you cup your hands and do a repetitive rhythmic uh, striking on the patient's lungs from where you need to drain the secretions okay uh, it is used to augment the mobilization of the secretions all the three techniques are used for the same reason uh, the cupped hands are striked in alternating manners as i told you you need to cup your hands and then strike it in a rhythmic manner okay and your shoulders your elbows and your wrist should be free and they should be mobile so that the flow is uh, rhythmic okay it is continued for a few minutes or till the patient wants to cuff. So if the secretions are mobilized, he will be uh, cuffing for the same. And if he doesn't, then do it for a few minutes, ideally three to five minutes. And then you can change over to the next segments. So what are the contraindications for the percussion? It should not be done over a fracture, spinal fusion or osteoporotic bone. But obvious, the, uh, if there is a fracture, you do not perform any manipulation on that part. Next is the uh, over tumor areas. So by this heavy manipulation, the tumor might get uh, metastasized to some other part or get mobilized. Therefore, you should not perform over the tumor area. Next is in pulmonary embolus. Similarly, the emboli may dislodge from the part, which may cause further complications. Therefore, you should not perform percussion over that part. Next is conditions in which hemorrhage can be easily occur. So if the patient is uh, under uh, antiplatelets where, or blood thinners where hemorrhage can occur very easily, in such conditions you should not perform percussion. And the last one is if there is unstable angina or there is chest wall pain, in that you should not perform uh, percussion techniques. So these are all the contraindications where you should avoid percussion and as I mentioned how will you perform percussion? You will cup your hands and not keep the palm straight because this straight palm will hit the patient and it will be painful. So you will cup your hands and then use it to mobilize the secretions in the lungs. And next I will show you a clip of how to perform percussion Next is vibrations. Vibrations is applied only during the expiratory phase of respiration. So while the patient is expiring, at that moment you need to apply vibrations. So how can you apply vibrations? You can use a single hand uh, and you can use two hands at two different places or two hands one above the other. So how the vibrations are created? They are created by isometrically contracting all the muscles of the upper limb. So all the muscles on your shoulder joint, elbow joint and the wrist joint are contracted isometrically which produces a vibratory effect and these vibrations are transferred to the patient while you place your hands on the chest wall which helps in loosening the adhesions of the secretions to the lungs. That is how the secretions are mobilized and according to the, you know, the positions the gravity assisted positions, they are drained to the larger segments of the lungs. So the last manual technique of postural drainage is shaking. It is a form of vibrations only, but it is a little vigorous and again, it is applied during expiratory phase only. 
okay how you perform shaking is you interlock your thumb so these are uh, connected and you spread your fingers around the chest wall and you create a compressive as well as a shaking maneuver over the chest wall this helps in uh, you know mobilizing the more adhesive secretions on the in the chest and thus moving them to the larger airways and thus releasing them with a cuff so this is what shaking is one of the most important point which i would like to mention is most of the people will teach you how to perform a technique but they won't teach you when to prefer so we have three manual techniques percussion shaking and vibrations so what will you prefer in which condition so percussion is a vigorous technique okay the patient needs to handle that much pressure uh, that you put on him so you can use percussion on patients who are able to tolerate that much pressure okay and the other end of the line is vibration so percussion is a heavy manipulation while vibrations are the lighter manipulations okay so if there is an elderly patient or there is a children who ca cannot tolerate much of the force that you put on them so in such conditions you will use vibrations and one more condition where you can use vibrations are when the secretions are not too much but you need to put some assistance to the mobilization of the secretions and then comes the middle person that is the shaking shaking isn't that much aggressive and it is not that much uh, you know lighter that it becomes ineffective in strong adhesive um, secretions so shaking is a middle thing when you cannot apply that much force on the patient while and also the vibratory technique the vibrations are too lighter to uh, mobilize the secretions so in such conditions you will use shaking so there are two extremes that are percussion and the vibrations and the middle thing is your shaking